So this is a video demonstration of my multi-threaded uh, file transfer client server architecture. So my ID of my user has access to marketing offers and sales because sales is a thousand. So I'm going to show CD into sales here. There's nothing in here or marketing. There's nothing in both of those folders. So we're going to run the server. Okay, the server is awaiting connections. So us. We're going to be sending the test file, which contains, this is a testing file. So how we do this is we connect with the client program with the file that we want to transfer and the location. So sales. So as you can see here, the connection was accepted. The thread was created. The mutex was locked. The mutex was locked because, um, the mutex thread locked because there, it's to prevent um, resource being allocated or being accessed from other threads and um, because it's multi-threaded so the name we want to save the file as here will be example.html so as you can see here it went into the sales and example.html and the transfer was successful so now it's listening for more data and um, whether that be a connection or another file um, is different so we're going to cd into the sales directory here as you can see example is now there and the data of the file has transferred successfully so we can then go in with uh, marketing. If we go back here, we can see marketing and a new connection was created. So we want to say marketing test dot txt and marketing, marketing text dot txt. So if we go into the marketing folder, you can see that marketing text test was there and it has the correct data. So for a file that we do not have permissions for, such as promotions, um, this does work. Unfortunately, there is a problem with the, the threading um, in that the server crashes, but the permissions on the client side actually do still work. So if we try and access here, you do not have permission to access this folder. So basically this is used um, the user groups to determine if the user has permissions or not. But unfortunately the server crashes and I couldn't figure out why this was the case. So we'll just run the server again. And we are going to connect with one client, test, and we're going to go to sales directory. So as you can see, it's in the sales directory. And now we're going to go with another client to test and to marketing again. So it is now waiting because it doesn't have access to the resources. So as soon as we enter a file name here, so let's call it multi-client.txt. So multi-client.txt, the correct destination. and the buffer contains test folder marketing. So then the marketing information was actually sent. So now we can send a file name from here, um, which we will send as second thread.txt. So, and you can see the marketing second thread.txt created successfully. So if we go into marketing, we can see that second thread was created and has the correct data. And if we go into we can see that the multi-client was also created, cat multi-client. This is a testing file. Um, so the only issue is the thread um, with the unhandled uh, error upon non-user groups. So how the client works is the client connects to the server via a socket on a local host and a port, and um, it then gets a group of uh, gets a list of the groups that the user has access to um, and checks them against. Uh, the um, file permissions basically. So uh, it connects through the socket um, using the address and the port. Um, it then checks the value of what was sent as the destination folder. Um, and based on what it's sent, it checks if the groups that that user is part of are equal to that folder permissions that it wants to access. And if it is, it's then considered allowed um, as, as shown here. So it's saying later on, if allowed, um, all the information is sent between the client and the server, such as the username, the user's ID, um, the group ID, and the destination for where to send the folder. Um, and then upon this completion, um, the destination is determined either acceptable or not. And the if the destination is acceptable, um, 
the file then transfers data, or the sorry, the client then transfers data to the server um, via for loop um, using a buffer. So it opens the the file specified in read mode and fills the buffer with data from that file and sends it to the server using the send command. And the buffer is then cleared and repeated until all the data in the file is gone. And the file is then closed and the socket is closed after the connection is made. So in the server, um, the mutex lock is initiated. Um, if this fails, the program exits. Simply the server cannot be started. Um, the socket is then created. If the socket fails, the server cannot be created. So it then binds to that socket um, and listens on the port provided. So port 6000. Um, it then enters an infinite loop for accepting connections using the accept method and then creates a new thread upon a new socket being created. So once the new socket is created, um, a new thread is created so that it's running simultaneously to the rest of the program. So once the, the pthread create method uses the connection handler, so the connection handler is what actually handles all the information between the client and the server. So all of the things such as username, group ID, user ID, um, destination folder are all sent to this connection handler. And basically if the destination is deemed acceptable, uh, it will continue on with the process of transferring information through, uh, and then it will reach the file transfer part. So basically the, the destination has to be formed in a string of where to copy the file to. Um, once this has been complete, it then transfers the file. So using the same loop as the client does to send, except using receive. So it's rec v here with the socket information, the where to store the information, and the uh, the size of the the information being passed. Um, it then writes using f write to the file that was opened previously um, with f open. Um, in with the size of characters, so it's writing character by character um, of size, basically block size. So how much, however much was read from the stream and the into the file that was opened. The buffer is then cleared and repeated until all the file, all the content from the original file has been transferred into the new file. The buffers are then cleared and the user is notified that the file transfer was a success and the mutex is lock is then unlocked so that other threads can access that resource and transfer their own file. Thank you very much.